Because today's video is going to be top three good and bad things about being married to a Filipina. Bad. There's... Ruby's gonna practice driving, and today. <laughs> you don't need to tell them that. Hey everyone, this is Guilty Vergara back with another video, and today is Expat Wednesday, where we just discuss about. Potentially, you guys transitioning into the Philippines or other countries like the Philippines because um, I focus more on the Philippines because I live there in the Philippines, so you know. But today, I wanted to talk about the disadvantages and advantages of marrying a Filipina. Obviously, most Pinais, you don't want to generalize, everybody's different, but generally speaking, there is a core foundational um, uh, base that P Pinais usually generally have whether they live provincial or city lives. So, you know, so let me, let me get the advantages out of the way because, you know, my wife is here and- It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. You know, I don't want to put the, the negatives out first. So- Wait, no, there is a negative? There's always a negative to all women and men. Top three positives of being with a Filipina. Number one, Filipinos are very devoted. Super devoted people, or women. I'm talking about die hard, like, you know, die hard, right? Uh, they're, they're super die hard. They will be there for the family, especially if you have kids. They'll be there no matter what. And they will. They're just very devoted to the family and making sure everything is right. Number two, which goes into, uh, let, me, let, me, let me darken this a little bit here which goes into a little bit of the devotion and cracks into uh, number two, resilience. Pinais, for whatever, for whatever reason, they're super resilient. That's why, this is, this is my opinion, I could be very wrong. That's why Pinais, Filipinas, t unfortunately, some of them tend to be the breadwinners of the family because of their devotion and their resilience to making things happen. They're just super resilient. They could be sick, they could be hurting, they'll get up and do their own thing because the value they hold on their family, right? Right. Now, I'm not saying just, just Filipinas, but we're talking about Filipinas today. Number three, Filipinas are very, uh, I'm, I have to say, they're very accommodating. They're very accommodating, meaning like, they can have a really rough day, but Filipinas. Now, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to sound like a chauvinist or anything like that. Filipinas still value many Filipinas. Now, I'm not going to say all. Many Filipinas still value the old traditional ways of conducting a family. So, like Ruby, sometimes even though she works hard, she works a lot of long hours. She still finds time to to. Uh, to cook, to clean, to do all these things that she was uh, essentially trained to do as a young child as to the roles of, you know, marriage and stuff like that. I'm not saying that I forced her to do this, I forced her to do that, and, oh, Jesus Christ, let me, oh yeah, okay, let me play with the ND filter here. Yeah, pretty much it's super accommodating. They make sure they're really there for the family. Uh, and I, I really I really appreciate that with a lot of Filipinas. I just noticed that they're, they're just super, they're very devoted, they're very resilient, and they're just super accommodating. Watch that guy's car. Now, let's get into the disadvantages of being nice. Hopefully she doesn't smack me. Okay, the disadvantage of being nice. The flip side of that is the pretty much the three things that I mentioned: de devotion, resilience, and um, accom accommodating, right? And this this is for me. This is a fault. The same positives they have are the same negatives as well, to a degree, because this is when you you scumbag Filipinos or scumbag foreigners take advantage of these Filipinas. Who are that way? You know what I'm saying? This is this is what I'm trying. I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to be real with you. Back to um, disadvantages. A lot of a lot of you not so good men take advantage of those three qualities, as I noted before, stated before. 
So, th and this is the fault of many Pinais because of that, of because of those three traits. So, some negatives are because of their devotion, they're so devoted. Sometimes Filipinas will go through that motion of let me just serve the family let me just do this let me do that meanwhile the guy treats her like crap or some some in some cases the girl treats her like crap and they're still there they're like they, they're like the they are like the 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 the, uh, the stereotypical battered wife thing situation they're just they're just there because it's ingrained in their brain that they have to be there for the family no matter what this is no matter what I've seen it personally with my family um, I've seen it personally with with women in my family who get beat up uh, abused mentally abused physically abused they're just devoted women they don't want to leave and to a fault it's it's sad but you know that's a negative for me and the resilience that like it goes back to they are so resilient on making sure this thing will work. Finding every single way. It's even worse when children are in the family because they will they will hang out. They will they will accept everything. They will accept the they will accept the 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 marital the, the extramarital affairs. They will accept the beatings. They will accept the 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 uh, this is, this is general. This is general. This is general. Okay, how many how many times have you seen Filipinas get beat up and go back? A lot. How many times you see Filipinas? How many times have you see Filipinas? You know the guy is no good. He's lazy. Goes gambling. Go does this. Does that. Is not productive. Is not a uh, is not uh, a good example of a of a man of a hardworking a uh, man who provides. And she is still. Oh, do you want some food? Are you hungry? You you wanna you wanna? Uh, like what I did to you, like if yeah. we're fighting and then still offer you food. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> I, I I believe I'm a good provider. I don't I don't have I don't have those faults. Uh, what would you do if I was a, a sugarol, like somebody who loves gambling, who loves vices? You probably leave me. But that's what I see when, with when it comes to resilience. A lot of Filipino women just deal with it, like. Oh, he wants to do. To, he wants to go to the cockpit. It's just his hobby. It's his passion. Oh, we have no money in the bank. It's okay. We'll look for it. I'll, I'll go sell some. I'll, I'll go sell some stuff on the side, or I'll go find ways to provide for the family. Um, or or which is worse. This is worse. Or Filipinas will be the ones to leave the country. OFWs to uh, to provide for the family to be the breadwinners. So, for me, I'm, for me. I don't know some people might get offended or whatever me as a man I feel like I have to be the provider of course Ruby can work and Ruby can do this and Ruby can do that but that's an option for her I really I I really pride myself in being able as a man to provide for my family I don't know how you guys feel I don't know I don't I really personally don't care if you guys think that's, that's uh, I'm very old-fashioned that way my dad made sure my mom was taken care of my mom worked and everything, but my dad made sure. And my mom ran the bills in the house. My, my dad brought the money, and my mom arranges everything and makes sure everything is right. That Ruby does the same thing. She pretty much arranges everything. I just put it there, and then that's it. I just make sure that I provide for the family. Now, like I said before, I don't really care what anyone thinks about that because I'm very old-fashioned that way. Number three would be the, the, the accommodate the accommodating. Maybe this is a more of a personal rant or anything. If you are a man who's a degenerate gambler, a drunk, uh, some, somebody who's stuck on vices, your, your woman should not be accommodating to you. Because like I said before, you are not doing anything to help the situation. You are not putting into the pie. When you leave everything to the woman to, to help you, and I know you need help from time to time, but if it gets to the point where you don't want to find a job, you just want to get these menial jobs left and right, and you don't want to work, but for some reason, you have enough time, you have enough money to go to the cockpit, you have enough time, enough, have enough money to play the lottery, uh, you can play your cards, do this and do that, 
it, it's I don't, I can't accept that from any, from any any person, man or woman or whatever. You gotta, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta try to meet in the middle, and you know you have to have some type of pride as a man. So I think this has become more of a rant about how men are. But all I'm saying is those are the three faults that, uh, I mean, advantages and disadvantages that I f believe that Fili some Filipinos have when it comes to being a part of a, a unit, a family, a, you know, a, a, a relationship. And, you know, I could be wrong, I could be right, whatever, but that's my opinion, it's what I've observed living with Filipinas and seeing Filipinas deal with certain things. Uh, in Ruby's family, my family, some of them are paired with men who I don't agree with, who for me are are lazy, and they take advantage of that, you know. And you know, and then me mar being married to a Filipina for almost 15 years, I just see it: the the devotion, the resilience, and the accom this accommodating nature of a Filipina, and. And let me just change this, right? And at the, on the flip side, those three attributes also work against them because of certain uh, people in their lives. I'm trying my best to make as many videos. Let me get, let me get darker a little bit. I'm trying my best to make as many videos as I can before um, this big move that we're having. I'm gonna try to take you on that journey on, on our big move. But um, yeah, we're just trying our best to see how everything works out in the next couple of weeks because it's gonna probably come fast when everything is rolling and um, I'm gonna you know try my best to fill you in and let you be a part of that journey uh, hopefully this video will make some type of sense when I edit it and I'll see you in the next video comment down below what your thoughts are it's good for the community to see everyone's point of view you know as I said before I am kind of old-fashioned so f forgive me if you don't agree with me but that's just me but uh, take care, God bless, and um, see you soon.